today I have got a little project that I wanted to do. Um, I have been working on, well, I just did one, but um, I got in these uh, tabs from Foxy Fix and they're just a little, I don't like the colors of them or anything like that. So I wanted to see if I could dress them up a little bit, make them pretty, everything like that. So I also wanted to use my new um, stuff from the haul that I just did that was my last video. Um, I've already redone one and this is what it looks like. So um, I just tried to pick different pieces of things that I really like and all that good stuff. And this is what it looked like on the back. So it was just a plain like gray one. And anyway, they're just, they're boring <laughs> to me, but they serve a purpose. And I figured that it'd be a lot more cost effective to just redo them and kind of make them my own rather than um, going out and buying brand new ones. So here's kind of my idea that I wanted to do. I wanted to do kind of like a ghostly looking tab. So I printed off this picture. It's like a vintage photograph from Google. Um, you could probably find it if, uh, I can't remember what exactly I searched for, but it might have been like vintage plague doctor uh, uh, masquerade mask, something like that. But I've kept up with this image for a long time, and um, I really like putting like images like this printed on vellum against a black background because it creates this really cool ghostly effect. So um, that's kind of my idea. So we'll see if it works. <laughs> so that's kind of going to be my focal point. And then I've got other little elements that I want to use. So I wanted to use this beautiful tissue paper that I got from Prima. And it is the, where is the tube? Here it is. It is the Mulberry tissue paper in Iva. So... Uh, it actually comes in two sheets, so I just kind of stuck my image over something that was really dark that wouldn't super, super compete with it because you have to be really careful um, not to overwhelm the image. That way you can still see it. So see how cool that looks? She looks kind of ghostly. So uh, let's go ahead and get started.
what a journey, y'all. So <laughs> I went ahead and decided to leave in all of the different uh, clips and everything just to show that not everything always goes according to plan. Um, as you know, I did plan on using vellum, but I could not make it work uh, with the different glues that I have. Um, you have to be really, really careful when you're gluing vellum, and I kind of remember that whenever I was making uh, little mini junk journals for my friends last year. But it came out, so what I ended up doing was just reprinting the image at 85% and um, just gluing it directly on, and then I used a little bit of both of these Distress Inks to kind of... Um, distract from all of the harsh edges and I think it actually worked pretty well and then I you know went over with the texture paste and everything and it is pretty dry um I don't know if I can get the camera to show exactly how the texture looks no I don't think I can but um when you run your finger over it it's got a really cool look to it. So, um, I went ahead and punched my, uh, holes for my rings and now I'm going to use my, um, can't remember which punch I used. I think I'm going to go with the large here cause I like my corners rounded. I just, I think it looks so much nicer and, um, just go ahead and round my corners with this. Hopefully that paste doesn't catch. No. Oh. Sometimes they don't exactly do it perfectly, but that is okay. Um, using the tissue paper like I did actually didn't bulk this up as much as the last one. Um, I think it turned out beautiful. I really do. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and uh, I'm afraid this texture paste is going to um, come off the more that I use it and flip through. And if it does, it does. I can always just go back in. Really what I should have done was just gone in with my white gesso. I think that probably would have worked a little bit better, but we'll see. So I'm going to use this... Um, sealer here, which is what I did before I really started um, going over the image again um, because I didn't want any of my ink to run. Um, so I'm just going to use a little bit of this just to make absolutely sure that everything is kind of sealed in. So I'm going to get my sheet of paper out once again and just gently spray. probably should be outside doing this, but it is what it is. Okay. Whew. I feel like we have truly gone on a journey today. So yeah, I think, I think it all came out really well. So yeah, if y'all want to see more of these, I would gladly, you know, show all of this and everything. Um, I'm really excited to have like custom covers and uh, custom tabs and everything. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the backs of them. Um, I'll probably dress them up a little bit as well and go through this whole entire process of all over again to create, you know, just different looks for each, uh, each side. But I think this looks just beautiful considering that we came from this to this. I'm really excited about it. So uh, leave any comments that you have down below. I will try and remember to put all of my steps and things that I use down in the description box. So um, yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see future videos, please hit subscribe. I would love to have you here and I hope you have a safe and happy day. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye everybody.